So what is Blowby and why you should install the Trask Performance Check M8? So first, let's not confuse blow-by with sumping. Sumping is a whole separate issue. So the Harley-Davidson Milwaukee 8 produces excess pressure buildup in the crankcase due to an inadequate venting system, which in turn produces blow-by. Blow-by is a mixture of hot deoxygenated oil and air that is pushed out of the crankcase due to excess pressure. It goes past the piston rings and out the head breathers. In the past, this oily mist used to vent out into the atmosphere. So in order for Harley to adhere to the EPA standards and regulations and in keeping this from venting out into the environment, they designed the engine to vent or breathe back into itself. And this is why you see your breather bolts venting back into the intake, whether it's tubes or venting holes. This hot depleted oxygen and oily mist is recycled back through the intake, creating an oil and fuel mixture. And this combined with a revolving combustion system creates excess carbon buildup, golden glazed cylinders, decrease in horsepower, and shorter engine life. Installing a bypass configuration or external breather, which Trask also provides with their salt air filter and external breather kit, reroutes this deoxygenated oily mist straight from the head breathers and into an external filter or catch can. So this is not really a huge concern for your average cruising rider than it is for those who enjoy riding at high RPMs for a long period of time and distance. So one way you can check for this is by inspecting the outside of your air breather for wet oily spots or by removing your air cleaner along with your breather bolts and inspecting it for excess oil. So Trask Performance was established in 2000, but has been developing performance driven parts long before that. Manufactured in the USA, the Checkmate was specifically designed for the Milwaukee 8 engines, 2017 and up FLs, and 2018 and up soft tails. This vented transmission top cover is machined from billet aluminum with a boys in one way reed valve. So breaking down the top cover, the left side is your transmission gear sets, the middle is your transmission vent, and the right side is the air bypass from the engine crankcase to the oil tank. So in no way, shape, or form does this top cover have anything to do with the transmission functions. It's purely designed to vent the excess pressure coming from the crankcase to the transmission oil tank. Obviously, there's no comparison when you're putting it up against the Harley's poorly vented plastic top cover. So just some of the benefits of the venting system. The revalve allows the excess pressure to be vented out while still maintaining a vacuum. Reduce or even eliminate the oil coming from the head breathers, thus eliminating or reducing over lubrication of the cylinder walls and excess carbon buildup. Also, the transmission top cover is the highest point of the transmission oil reservoir, making it the best location for venting all that excess pressure. So whether you do a vented transmission top cover, vented dipstick, or external breather modifications, this will at least help you reduce the excess crankcase pressure and blow by that the Milwaukee A's produce. All right guys, so here's what came in the box. You have the Trask Performance transmission top cover. This is where you're gonna connect your hose that connects to your filter element. This is your gasket. You can remove this gasket so you can insert your stock vent tube here. And here you have your reed valve. Here you have the filter element. I won't be using this filter. I do have the DK Customs four stage catch can. And this is your hose along with some other information. All right guys, so here's what comes with the four stage catch can. You have the catch can itself, some instructions, and an extra O-ring. So I did go with the option to purchase the refresh kit for the four stage catch can. All it is is all the components that go inside the catch can. All right guys, so for tools, I use a ratchet, a two inch extension, 3 16 hex bit, quarter inch socket, 3 16 allen, a picking tool, cable tie cutters, some blue Loctite, 
zip ties, and I did purchase these hose clamps on Amazon, and I will leave a link down in the description below. So I did want to service my breather before I did this install, so I can show you guys exactly what I was talking about when it comes to this oily mist coming in through your breathers. Once I ride with this top cover for a while, I'll check my breather bolts again and I'll check my intake to see if it's performing like it's supposed to. So the transmission top cover has six screws and I'm using a 3 16 hex bit. For some of these screws, I am using a two inch extension. So for these three screws towards the front of the top cover, I'm using a 3 16 Allen. So here I have the stock transmission top cover. It's just a plastic piece, and I am gonna reuse this vent tube. So now I'm gonna install the stock vent tube onto the Trash Performance top cover. Just make sure you pull it all the way through. Then I'll just reinstall the gasket. So now I'll install the new top cover. And I will be using blue Loctite. So I'll just get this finger started until I get all the holes lined up. So now I'll install the vent hose. First thing I'll do is I'll run the clamp through and then secure it to the fitting. And to tighten this clamp down, I am using a quarter inch socket. Now that I have the line secured to the top cover, I'm gonna remove my saddlebag, my side cover, and my seat so I can route the line. So where I have this line routed, obviously you want it tight right here so it's not touching your exhaust. So I have it running through the frame, coming out of here, coming back down, and back behind the frame, and into the catch can. And I have the catch can down here zip tied so it's not moving around.
All right guys, so that was your Trask Performance Checkmate install. I hope this video helps you understand a little bit more about blow by and how to mitigate it. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for future videos, and I'll see you on the next one.